Hey, love bugs, it's Roz going back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you've been giving me um, each and every day towards my video share. And just being able to connect with you is really beautiful to me. Um, being able to know that, you know, people relate and are connected in the most spiritual ways um, doing these, through these dark times of a learning process of, you know, being the best version of ourselves is, you know, truly a blessing. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, uh, if you're comfortable enough, please, you know, Drop me a line or two, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, um, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Y'all just see my cat Irma up here. Uh, she can't even stay still to save her life. Um, but anyways, uh, the beautiful meditation music that I'm listening to today. Let me turn it up a little bit so y'all can hear it. Um, it's called Healing Your Aura with Delta Waves. Remove chakra blockages. Boost positive energy and healing energy. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hell, because remember we can't start the new, the next chapter if, of our lives if we keep rereading the last one. Which is true. You know, your past should be uh, a learning experience to take you to the next chapter. Being able to know you, you shouldn't keep rereading that same chapter over and over again. Because you already know how it's going to go. You need to start a fresh page. Uh, to a new beginning um being able to leave the past where it is the past you know there are sometimes we have a bad habit since we're in our human form we take on human habits you know just reliving you know the painful situations going through that painful scenario of what people has done to us what they have put you through and you know one of my love bugs made a comment earlier talking about Rosa don't tell me to love my enemies you don't gotta love them like oh go hug them but those people, if it wasn't for those people putting the pain and anguish on you, you would have never truly knew who you were, what you were capable of, where your strength could come from, seeing you for who you truly are, knowing that you can let go of that power they have held on you for so long. You know, it's just, there's days that, you know, it's a daily process that you have to do. Hey, I still do it. It's not like I'm preaching to the choir saying for y'all to let go and I'm, you know, everything's, you know, clean slate for me. That's something I'm working on every day to take my power back to allow myself to know what my family has done to me um doesn't have any power over me these people have helped me find my true me you know if i wouldn't have went through the tragedies that i went through i wouldn't have really knew what i was capable of doing pushing myself to that limit being able to see myself and loving what i you know i projected back towards myself because i didn't love myself years ago i was you know i let people railroad over me all the time I had red flags popping up all over the place and I choose to ignore it knowing, you know, that was my that was my downfall right there of not able not able to take the lesson out of every contact that I came across different people. Being able to say, you know, yeah, these per these people did this to me and you know, uh I did this for them and you know nobody's perfect. Yeah, I did my my, my dirt but they did worse than me you don't want to go tit tat and all this stuff because people do what people do you know um you you don't have to love your enemy but your enemy has allowed you to see the power within you never knew you had within yourself you never know until somebody presses that you know pushes you towards that limit when they cut off everything when universe tends to cut off things and people fall out your life it's because they weren't supposed to be there in the first place they were only supposed to be there for a season. And sometimes, like I said before, we put lifetime expectations on people. If you have done nice things for people and you know you did them right, don't even worry about it. You just cut them out your life, but you can sit up here and say, you know what, I did my part. 
I did what I was going to be able to because that's your your character speaks on so many val volumes like that you know it's the narcissistic people um I read that in a post the other day which is so true when they when narcissistic people can't control you they will control how other people see you you know when they know that they they don't have you up under their their you know their hooves or their horns or whatever they start talking to other people you know my family's done that you know I, I had my favorite aunts and my favorite cousins that I love to go talk to and when my situation popped off and I started knowing the truth about them my family went to each and every one that was going to end up doubting me and I said you know what hey you know what <laughs> I ain't got no reason to lie but hey if you want to go and believe that I'm gonna let you do that I'm not even gonna convince you of me being wrong or you being uh or you being wrong or me being right you know but you know you have to love and leave alone you have to be able to set yourself free and being able to know that your pain had a purpose behind it uh any situation you have come into contact with different people has taught you one lesson whether if it was good or bad whatever that experience was but it still taught you something um being able to know your worth allowing yourself to love yourself to where you can back up and cut yourself off from people and sometimes that can be very painful especially when it comes to family you know, I, my family is the only people I knew, you know, with me being adopted and not knowing anybody else. That was the most painful thing I had to do was walk away and cut them out of my life because they didn't bring anything good to my life. You know, they kept on being focused on the things that, you know, they, they you know, they had pressed buttons on. But, you know, when it comes to narcissistic people, they they can sit up here and stab you in the back and then ask you why the heck you're bleeding. And, you know, and just like if you lash out of them. That's all they want people to see is, oh, you see how she's acting, you see how he's acting. You know, you can't allow yourself to engage in stuff like that. People are going to be people regardless. As long as you know your character and you know what you've done, that's all that matters. You know, when people tend to do things, and I had to tell myself that, you know, don't keep, you know, um, trying to convince people of what others do. You know, pretty soon, sooner or later, they're going to slip up and expose themselves, you know. But I, I'm happy that they put me through these things because my painful situation and my crazy experience has gave me so much strength, gave me so much self-love. Because if you don't love me, I'll be dang, I can love myself. <laughs> you, it's like there's a song, it's like, I don't need no, I don't need no, uh, I don't need nobody to help me do bad by myself. I can do that by myself. You know, there was some songs like, I can do bad by myself. I don't need no help to starve to death. That's what that song is. I forgot who sung it. But that was back in my parents' days. But it's true. You don't need nobody to be with you to be bad on your own. You can do that on yourself, your own self. But if you're, you've are you gone through a traumatic past and a traumatic situation, um, take your power back. Take your power back. Even if it takes you a daily effort, do that every day. Don't allow yourself, because I know my ego wants to go back down. Men really ain't on talking about everything these folks did to me, you know, what they've done. You know, when you know you have beautiful things ahead for you that's going to, you know, you know, uh, elevate you in so many beautiful ways, stay focused on that. And I have to tell my, my, my ego that I'd rather stay focused on some, you know, beautiful things, positive things, than worry about what people has done to me. Because if I'm not allowing them to do that to me no more, when I start seeing red flags, when I've been supportive towards people, you know, came in their life right when I needed to be, just being that light worker and helping them out, trying to let, allow them to see the things that are going on in their life. And they took advantage of that. Hey, they so more about them than they did about me. But I will part ways because I, uh -uh, I ain't going to be, it ain't going to be no 50, no 80, 20, you know, the 80, 20 rule when I'm doing more 80 and you doing 20, I, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I'll exit you out my life so quick, but I'm not going to sit up here and wish that I never did that for you because, you know, that I did that from the bottom of my heart. And if you do things from the bottom of your heart, you should never say you wish you never did that. You know, don't allow your enemies to keep that power over you. Don't keep reminding yourself about what they did. When you know what they did and you learn your lesson from them, hey, you just learn your lesson from them and keep it moving. But, you know, don't allow the past hurt to keep you in that same rotating door, that same hamster wheel. When there's beautiful things for you, there's waiting just to, for you to explore. But if you're still walking through that door of the past, you're not giving yourself that opportunity to be able to enjoy your future. Because you keep on messing around with that past, it's going to mess your future up. And I have to keep telling myself that each and every day. You know, there's times when situations come up in my life 
and it takes me right back to that situation that these folks did to me. And I'm just like, no, I, I got beautiful things waiting on me, and I can't keep reliving that pain over over again. These things happened to me about four or five years ago. I don't even, I mean, those folks don't even exist to me. They're just memories to me that I just, okay, we had a connection a long time ago, but I don't consider you family. You know, there's family that get in touch with me and be like, hey, tell such and such. I say, oh, they, we don't talk no more, but you can go find them this way. <laughs> you know, I don't even give no, I say, you'll find out sooner or later. If it's meant for you to find out, you'll find out, but I'm not going to engage in that no more. I'm not going to keep talking about what they have done, but allow yourself to heal. You know, um, I use my situation as a prime example because, you know, I open my life up to y'all, let y'all know the things that I went through, the things that I've experienced and life was not pretty. I won't wish that on my worst enemy. A child should never be abused no matter what, you know, people shouldn't have children if they don't, they're not going to do them right. You know, we have to break that cycle and that's why we go through so much hell because we will be that person that breaks that cycle you know it, it it didn't start with us but it will end with us so allow yourself to deserve the happiness that you need in your life the love that you need in your life uh, being around loving people that has those good vibes you know if those people have left a bad mark or a bad taste in your mouth you have learned a lesson from them and just part ways and gone about your business but it's not going to do nothing but give them power over you if you keep feeling that animosity just allow that to be a chapter of your life that you had to live and learn from and keep it moving so i hope you were able to uh resonate with the content of my video please drop me a line and let me know what you think about that like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line share give me a thumbs up know that you are truly blessed highly favored and forever loved and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days and much love out here to Christy Mize, uh, Jonas Cologne, for fourth, and um, Sydney Ann, much love to you. Many blessings to y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed, prosperous week. So much love and positivity as you possibly can. And I will see you on my next video. I might do some more for tomorrow. This might even come out tomorrow. So um, it was shocking. I was just going to, you know, I was just going to sit down and relax. But hey, when they need me to push a message out, I'm pushing a message push a message out <laughs> get it out so much love to you i will see you on my next video whenever i see you on my next video either it'll be tomorrow or the next day but you know until then much love to you and peace be wild